Hi guys, welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isim. It's always a pleasure to have you join me. As you know, my guest is waiting to talk to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're about to discuss everything and everyone trending. I'll be right back after this break. Stay with me, don't go anywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to Trending brought to you by Airtel. Now, sitting on my hot seat today, ready to talk to us, is none other but the one, the only, Ladi Po. Mm -hmm. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? It's good to be here. Mm -hmm. So, Ladi Po is spelled L A D I P O E. Why is that? Why is that? And is, it, is your real name Ladi Po? My real name is Ladi Po. Uh -huh. so, and my artist name has always been Po. Mm. It's recently, in the last year and a half or so, I started to use Ladi Po more frequently. Okay, yeah. okay. So what, what, why did you choose? A funny story. Well, because when I started to release music, mm -hmm. over time, I think as the music started to grow, family started to grow, I was releasing my music as Po. Okay. And then um, I think there's a Po in Yankee. Oh, A right. female folk singer type chick. Oh. And she... I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear from her. I heard from my lawyers. They're oh. like, the oh. name Po is in use stop <laughs> wow, <woo. laughs> so rather than try and do anything drastic right. on tracks i used to already say Ladi po and blah blah so on and so forth so i decided i'm just going to use that whenever i release music but mm -hmm. my friends and my people still call me po so it's still cool. call it. i mean it's very unique i like the Ladi po and like before that. we go deep down into the interview let's talk about what you're wearing um, yeah. we have a segment called the style update segment where oh, you really? talk about your outfit okay uh and the inspiration behind it so tell us well it's cold today. It's chilly today. Mm -hmm. It's even colder in your office. Yeah, it is. So I decided that I was going to wear a sweater today, and I really like this one. I love the color. Okay. I, I, to be honest with you, I won't even lie. I'm always on black, monotone things and things like that. But I think more color is needed for me. It's needed. Days. I like yeah. it. I like it really Thank much. You very much. Okay. Now, Ladipo, we're going to discuss the topic: the complex structure of the Nigerian music. We feel like you're the first person to discuss it. <laughs> okay. Well, I um, but that. before we go into it, tell us how has it been for you since you joined Maven? Uh, it's been good you know it's been it's been a learning it's been a learning curve okay. because like I, I went from like being an independent artist and I, and I have that mindset still I'm very much independent guy at heart but at the same time I understood the benefit of partnering with people mm -hmm. and also partnering with people that have experience okay. in the field you want to get bigger in mm -hmm. you know so I wanted more eyes and ears you know and, and Maven has really done that the profile has grown the fan base has grown the music is interesting and um you know, I still have a lot of creative freedom at Maven. Mm. So to me, it's it's been like the best of both worlds. Amazing. Know? Oh, I yeah. like that. Now let's talk about the Nigerian audience. Mm. Um, I'm sure you release music from time to time. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tell what they're interested in and what they're not interested in. Mm. Do you think that they are biased when it comes to, you know, artists in Nigeria? Do you think they always look out for just the A-list or they allow everyone grow and, you know, undivided attention you know i realized one thing about the nigerian audience the nigerian mainstream audience is mm. that they don't always know what they want right. they don't always know what they like mm. um they know it when they hear it mm. and i feel like trying to use them alone as your gauge for what you should put out or release personally i feel like you will you will stray from your path okay so i definitely respect my core fan base and the larger audience but i lead with what i feel sounds good to me what i what i what i can stand behind and and as an artist like me i like to experiment and try different things mm. you know so i i allow those things to be part of my decision mm. and not just the audience alone because i think the audience they have come to like certain sounds okay. afro beats afro pop afro fusion is a big thing here mm. you know they're used to it mm. you know so they need sometimes a new sound is something that they don't know how to feel about it mm. it's the energy you used to release it the confidence you used to release it that can mm. change it like that right. you know so i think they were educating each other mm. we're educating the audience the audience is also educating us at the same time if mm. we see it like that then we realize that there is so much diversity that can come true that right. but what would you name your sound you dang you know every, when people ask me that i always you never know. <laughs> i always i call it i call it lifelines right you know my tagline is you know no punchlines just lifelines mm. because you know as a as a rapper predominantly people associate you with punchlines and things like that but i feel like what i say goes a bit deeper mm. it goes levels deeper and that's just how my music is so the sound might change 
it might be hip hop based, it might be Afro beats based, it might be trap, whatever it is. But lifelines will be consistent. Amazing. It, yeah. I love that. But yeah. well, how hard or how easy has it been to maintain this kind of sound? I mean, I know that in Nigeria, a lot of people say, okay, I'm going to start off this way. You know, I'm going to, <laughs> you know, just for the music, I'm here for the passion. And then along the line, they say, um, I want December. <laughs> Let them call me for sure. So I'm gonna, you know, go just go a bit. So tell me, how hard or how easy has it been to maintain this um, this sound, this lifeline sound? I think, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. I've grown as an artist. Okay. And as an artist, you are motivated by a number of things. Mm -hmm. Primarily, one, love for your art and the thing that you do. Mm -hmm. Two, you want to be compensated for your art. Okay. So you want to put out stuff and you get paid for it because that's what you love to do. Mm -hmm. You know. So I think that. Um, it doesn't always have to change your sound. Okay. Is the what I, what has happened to me is a change of mindset. Mm. Is I am great at what I do. I am dope at what I do. I make great music. Oh, when you want me for a show, you pay me for the music that I make. Right. And also the belief that the music that I make, as unique as it sounds and as different as it sounds, mm. there's value, mm. and you can pay for value. Mm. A lot of artists feel like if I am not making a certain kind of music, there is no value. Mm. Therefore, I will not get paid. So uh, let me switch to the music that will get me paid. Right, right. So I think if you change your mindset and believe that what you do already, there's value in that, mm -hmm. you can yeah, you will yeah, see so. people who, 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 who will buy into that idea. Okay, talking yeah. about value, let's talk about the financial structure of yeah. the music industry in Nigeria. Do you think it gives artists the genuine platform to grow? I think the opportunity is there. Mm. but a lot more needs to be done okay in the industry there is not enough um like there's only few ways that artists make huge amounts of money okay you know so what needs to happen is that there needs to be more diversification mm. i'll give you a simple analogy our beloved country nigeria mm. One of its main industries and main uh, ways of making money is exporting um, oil. Right. Right. It's selling oil, crude oil. Mm. Right. That is one way. We used to have a lot of diverse things that we used to export. Right. But we've now focused on just one. Mm. That is not a way to build a robust. A, a, a robust economy exactly a robust economy i wanted to use the word robust but i'm like hmm, they're going to start saying what are these words <laughs> in, you know but a robust economy and i feel like the same thing with the nigerian music industry to build a strong industry that is going to last generations we need to have more income streams mm -hmm. for the industry to grow not just for artists but people within the industry mm -hmm. engineers graphic designers whatever all the mm -hmm. most more money flows in everybody gets we'll be happy it's a whole ecosystem you know mm -hmm. so i think i think that's what is really missing working right. hard on that is necessary okay so in other terms it's, for artists it's usually just you know from uh, performance and performances. performances and and um, so bookings and endorsements are the mm. main, still the primary ways. There needs to be more ways. There needs to be, we need to work on royalties. We need to work on um, um, venues to create touring venues. So mm. it's easy. Logistics are easy to get from point A to point B. I want to have a Niger tour. I should be able to get from point A to B to C easily mm. okay. so that people can come and see me there perform. I make money. Mm. Everybody enjoys, everybody has a good time. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Now let's, let's go a little into Maven now. Um, I know that Maven has a couple of sign artists. Yeah. Everyone is thriving, everyone is doing well. Mm. Um, I don't know how easy it is to stay on pressure, if there's a word like that, to not be pressured by, you know, going into going to the office and seeing everyone, you know, recording and this person has a hit song and, you know, everyone's timing. You have a hit song at your own time and you have your hit song, but mm. do you ever, and I'm sure there's a schedule for when, mm. you know, songs are allowed to be released by one person, one person, yeah. do you ever feel pressured and how do you stay calm even when it looks like, you know, there's a storm? You know, I think that that really boils down to the individual Okay. And it boils down to like how focused are you on what you do? Okay. Like, and I think everybody's artistic journey is different. Mm. You know, so for me, it's just because I know that this of this, I know the sound I'm on, okay. I know the wave I'm on. Mm. Um, I don't. I feel pressure, but it's the it's a natural pressure for to succeed. Mm. Like in you in your role, there's 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 heights you're, you want to hit so there's a natural pressure you put on yourself to hit those mm -hmm. but it doesn't come from 
ah, oh, man, this guy has a hit song. How am I going to do that? Mm. The only reason is because I just know the danger of that kind of thinking, and that's just me. Mm. And another thing is, I won't lie. People say it, and it sounds cliche and corny, but, mm. like, we really are, like, a small little family unit there. I won't okay. even, like, we're cool. Mm. So it's... Cody might come into your session and say, oh, you should do this, you should do that. So give you suggestions and be like, he give you advice. Do you know what I mean? And, and vice versa, me and somebody else. So it's, we don't have that feeling of, ah, man. Competition. Yeah, it's, it's a different, it's, a, it's not, there's a lot of camaraderie. Okay. There's a lot of real, real, real camaraderie. And I'm grateful for that because it could have been a different so your situation. Your grandma is plenty or like, ah. Tell us I now. did try now. I mean, rap. Yeah, this one, I'm sure people were watching your interview and they're checking dictionaries. It's what good. did you study? Though? It's like, good. It's good. It's good. It's education. What's your educational background like? Well, I went to school. I decided I wanted to be a doctor at the time, so I studied biology and chemistry. Okay. I double majored in both. Oh. Um, but I decided that I'm not going to be a doctor anymore after I work in the hospital. Ooh. Like, so you finished and you started working? Yeah. So I, I did that for like a, a year. Wow. But I did I just, not because it was hard, but because can I commit my life to this? Because what hospital I did you work in Luth? No, it was what? a hospital in a town called Charlotte, North Carolina. Right, yeah, I was okay. wondering why you changed your mind, because if you enter Luth... But I was in St. Nicholas for a little bit though. Oh, for real? Yeah, in St. Nicholas hospital. Yeah, in Lagos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. as a doctor so, or as a... No, not as a doctor, I worked in quality assurance. In what? Quality assurance department, making sure everybody's doing what they need to do. Ah, yeah. wow, yeah. that's impressive. I was like an intern. Mm. I won't say that I worked, worked, but right. I was like an intern. Do you intend to do music for a long time, or do you see yourself doing something else? I think it'll always be part of my life. Forever. Forever. So how in, do you in some capacity. To stay on top and like stay relevant for the longest time because it's it can't be difficult, you know. It, to... it is. I think so. I mean, you look at people like there are not that many people to even look up to in in this industry. Mm. Our industry is young, so the people that we look up to are still very much still you know still relevant. Of course. But looking at an older industry like the American one now, the U.S. industry. You know, you look at the Jay Z's, you look at people like that who have managed to stay at the forefront. It's not easy. Mm. You know, it's, people take a step back. I think it's about evolving. Mm. It's about, oh, I'm an artist at this point, then I grow to become something else, mm. then I grow to become something else. So Jay Z went and became an, a CEO, you know, and started to invest in other businesses and growing those businesses. Mm. So not just his music was Jay Z, it was more. Yeah. And also the legacy. Mm. You have to leave a legacy in people so your name is in everybody's mouth still. Mm. So you're inspiring the next generation. That's what's up. If you can't do that, they're going to forget you. Amazing, amazing. What are you working on, Ladipo? What should we expect from you? Um, more music. I'm, right now, I'm really focused on like dropping a lot of music and <laughs> videos because okay. a lot of people, they don't know the face. They've mm. heard the name. They've heard some songs, but they don't know. We need to put the face, face and the songs. Oh, right. to, yeah, so I'm working on that. And yeah, just creating I'm, I'm we're in a good space right now there's amazing. more to come i yeah. love that yeah. well done yeah. we look forward to all this amazing stuff yeah definitely right? you should hi guys welcome back to trending brought to you by airtel i still have the amazing laddie paul with me on the hot seat yeah um very intelligent i must say well, thank but you we're going to move this a little bit more we're going to move to our fast fast question segment where i get to oh, ask no. you a couple of things oh, about Jesus. yourself <laughs> okay well you just give us really fast answers under 60 seconds okay yes you ready I think so. <laughs> Time starts now. Jay Z or Kanye West? Jay Z. Describe yourself in one word. Enigmatic. What is your favorite color? <laughs> oh, my favorite color is black. Favorite artist of all time? Wow. Wow. I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. For real? There's okay. too many. Jeez. Okay. Favorite football club? Liverpool. Favorite African soup? Ooh. Uh, F O U. Okay. Spell your name backward. Opidal. Um, yes, Opidal. O P I D A L. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for every crush. None. First kiss. I like Vanessa MD. She's cool though, but just her mind is amazing. Okay. And she's fine. All right. She's First sexy. kiss. <laughs> First kiss. What like? What about it? What year? When? How old were you? First kiss. First kiss. I think I did other bad things before I even had my first kiss. And I was what age? <laughs> I don't think this is good for camera. Yeah. Uh, mm. First kiss? Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember. I'll give you a number. I'll give you 11. No. Maybe. There was something that happened one time that it felt And you were like doing bad like... things before 11? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. What is your favorite childhood memory? 
obviously not one of the things we just talked about. <laughs> favorite childhood memory. Um, one of my favorite child going fishing with my dad, which is so funny to go fishing in Niger mm. with your dad. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's good on the sixty seconds. Mr. Yeah. My first kiss was when I was 11. No, I didn't say that. Though. You said that. You suggested <laughs> you that. You agreed. You said yes. <laughs> wow, 11. You, you said but yes. I, but I think something happened with me and like an older girl at 11. Ooh. I think so. <laughs> to be honest, not, we should actually be worried. We should go and find her because it shouldn't happen like that. Wow, yeah. Enigmatic. Enigmatic. Yes. Maybe Let's move on now. The next um, segment oh, oh is... Oh my God, there's more. Is Yes, it's the tribe. What happens I get to ask you some social media observations or you just give me the few minutes. Are you ready? I think I'm going to be bad at this, but let's go. <laughs> let's try. H&M. That's the first one. H&M. Uh, Do you hope, want a clue? I hope nothing the matter. <laughs> huh? How? Should I give you a clue? Yes. Okay, it's something we say every first day of the month. Happy New Month. There you go. Um, next one, FYI. Oh, for your information. Good. TBH? To be honest. To be honest. Uh, TBT? Uh, Throwback Thursday. There you go. SMH? Shaking my head. There you go. Last one, HMU. Um, HMU. Mm -hmm. The, what? Do you want a clue? Yeah. Okay, so... HMU, out. You want to like hang out with your guys and then you're just like, yo, hit me, you. hit me up. There you go. <laughs> there I you go. Even, I can't even lie. My boy helped me. He's really dead. Ah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. Well, I would be honest. I cheated. Yeah, he cheated. But that's, you still tried. Nice. Hit me you up. Did hit me up. You did some on your own. Really good. Up. Really good. Like 80%. I'm going to use HMU a lot. Okay. You should. Hit me up. Yeah, We're going to sure. move on now to the next deal. But before we do so, we're going to go on a short break. And when we come back, Laddie Paul will be reading some nasty comments. Oh, wow. Stay with me. Hey, yo, welcome back. It's that time of the show where I get to give you this iPad, please. Uh, mm. This uh, device, please read <laughs> and respond to the comments you see below. <laughs> I don't think he is all that. Does he even have a hit song? Anonymous. He's just... Okay, okay. Wait, well, how should I read this though? You just read one and then respond, and then read the other one and respond. Or you read both and respond at the same time. These people are. Can I swear on the show? No. Okay. Just say these people are. Ding! Um, answer. Then continue. We'll, we'll get it. They have nothing better to do with their time. Mm. Or hate on somebody is actually trying to do something real. Mm. I don't think he's all that. Does he even have a hit song? You're a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, I have great songs. I think I have songs that. Um, will last way longer than my lifetime. Mm. Yeah. So I have legacy songs. I think Jai that releases a legacy song. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He is just wasting his time in Maven. You know, I think time will tell. Mm. It's only time that can let us know. I dropped talk about porn. I think that was epic. Mm. You know, I'm not, see how I am not trying to respond directly to these individuals mm. because I don't want to see you guys to see the darker side of Paul. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Don't worry, when we're in the car, we'll discuss all those things. Ooh. Dark aside. Just wasting his time in Maven. Mm -hmm. So look, okay, this person actually spelled everything correctly because that's the first thing I look at. <laughs> Nigerians, when they're angry, they like to spell badly. Well. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm a nice guy today. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I really would want to see that. Are you sure? Maybe not. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I invite you to the studio one day. Okay. Yeah, that's when the dark side comes out. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, cool. You we'll guys, you guys saw that, right? Nancy's coming to the studio. She's going to check it out. Um, we'll just have to wait to see. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Yeah. You were amazing. Any Thank last so words much. for your fans watching? Um, L-A-D-I-P-O-E on every single platform. Instagram to Snapchat to Twitter. There's no movement without you guys. Hit me up. Let's do it together. Oh, I can see that so sweet. And it's a wrap, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Thank you for watching today's show. I had Ladi Bo on my hot seat. As you know, we always love it when you join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Heat TV, on Instagram at Official Heat TV. You can also follow me on Instagram if you wish at Nancy Isime Official. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. Mwah. Goodbye.